Call the air and that lets you save the Who cares? True form life. Green look on the Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. Welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of our True Form Life community, whether you're listening across the country on terrestrial radio or around the world as a podcast. We certainly wouldn't be here without you. Today, we're talking about summertime weight gain, and I got to tell you, this is a hot topic. This is a real thing. It happens all the time, and we don't even know it because we're so excited that the sun is shining, we're barbecuing, hanging out at the lake or the beach. But summertime, weight gain is real. It's happening. Could be happening right now. It does happen throughout the other parts of the year as well. But summertime is an interesting time, especially when it comes to weight gain. I want to talk about this in this show, and I'm going to give you a slightly different format. I want to change it up a little bit. I want to do something a bit different. I'm going to give you five myths on summer weight gain, and then I'm going to give you five facts So we're going to break the show up that way and offer a different format to keep you guys guessing on what's coming next. Sit back and enjoy. We got all that coming up. This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. All right, welcome back to the show. Here we are, Exploring Mind and Body rocking it together one more time thank you for being here with us now today we're going over summer weight gain as we talked about in the intro i want to start off with the myths because there's a lot of myths going on around summer weight gain so let's break it down for you right now my first myth to share with you is that you don't lose the weight in the fall (laughs) i know a lot of people think that that's how it goes But that's not how it goes. We continue to gain weight throughout the year. We accumulate weight at different times of year like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, Halloween. doesn't really matter when it is. There's always a holiday. There's always a birthday. There's a celebration. There's New Year's. It's endless. So that means that you're not going to lose weight throughout the rest of the year because of the, all these different holidays and because we're always thinking about, oh, I'll start later or I'll put in more effort at another time or I'll do something to lose this weight or to live healthier. Now, I should mention we are not about weight loss. We're about living a healthy lifestyle in a sustainable manner. But it, the fact of the matter is summertime weight gain is real and it's happening. So we want to talk about it. We want to give you some myths and facts. And the first one is you don't lose it in the fall. That's just a fact of the matter. You don't lose weight in the fall. Remember that. Because if you gain weight this summer, if you go on a cruise, if everything falls to the wayside, it's going to be very hard to get back on track. I'm not saying there's no hope for you. I'll get into some facts for you, some more positive things. But when it comes to myths, when it comes to this one right here, it's, it's important to understand that we have to do our best to stay on track so we don't continue to gain weight and just think, it's okay, I'll lose it in the fall. The next myth I got for you is one or two weekends is okay to fall off and do whatever you want. This is kind of a f- funny one to me because, again, we got to go back to mindset. It's really our mindset that we say, oh, this weekend is going to be okay. I'm just going to go and do whatever I want. And then you have another weekend coming up. You're like, yeah, well, it's just the weekend. Summertime's here. We're going to a barbecue with friends. Doesn't happen very often. I'm going to do whatever we want. And you know what happens next is you go on a cruise for a week and you gain 10 pounds. And you had five pounds from the week with a couple weeks before. So now we're plus 15 pounds. We can't stand ourselves. We wonder why we don't have any confidence. We don't want to look in the mirror. So we have to understand that all these are all accumulations of summertime weight gain. And it's not going to stop because we're creating healthy habits or unhealthy habits. We have to understand that we're either working towards a healthy lifestyle or we're working the opposite way or against a healthy lifestyle. So we have to understand that one or two weekends to do whatever we want is not okay. I would go away from that mindset and do my best to stay on track all the time, not once in a while. And this leads me to my third tip. The third one is 80-20 rule. 
my gosh you hear this all the time like 80 20 it's okay like oh 80 percent of the time stay on track 20 percent of the time you do what you want i I gotta go back to mindset and saying like this is the way we live our lifestyle it's never 20 percent if we have the mindset of 80 20 how can we tell really how can you tell if only 20 percent of the time you're having cheeseburgers and eating donuts And then 80% of the time, you're staying on track. We can't. There's no way to tell. And our mindset says that we can do whatever we want. And I feel like if our mindset is 80-20, it's the opposite. 80%, we do whatever we want. 20%, we stay on track. That's the real 80-20 rule. (laughs) So pay attention to where your percentages are going if you're an 80-20 person. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of 80-20 in different areas, like in business, 80-20, like 80% of your income comes from 20% of your customers. Like that's real, that happens. 80% of the time you're wasting, wasting your time on doing nothing, 20% of the time. So <laughs> these things can be used positively, but I think someone was like, uh, I'm just going to say it's 80-20. And then I'm going to do whatever I want for most of the time. And then 20% I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to call it (laughs) 80-20. It's not what happens. You fall off the wagon so hard that it's so difficult to get back on and do the things that you want to do or the things that are going to take you closer to your goal or be somewhere more positive. Before we get into the show, I just want to mention Complete Truth Protein. This is a plant-based protein supplement that we've designed ourselves at True Form. And the reason I designed it is because I felt like there was a need in the industry. Now, when I was traveling around the world and I had a, I literally had a tackle box full of supplements and products and vitamins that did a whole lot more damage than good. So when I started doing more personal training and fitness classes, people would ask me what types of supplements I would recommend. And I always say, eat food. (laughs) So that's why I've designed Complete Truth Protein around food. It's made with quinoa and hemp seeds. And one of the main benefits that it offers is improved digestion. So many of us deal with digestion issues on a regular basis. It also gives you a natural boost of energy. So if you head over to trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein, we have tons of more details, videos, recipes, and everything you need to get going in the right direction with a good quality protein supplement. Trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. And that's really where we want to be in life. We want to take positive steps. We want to go towards the direction of our dreams and goals. And if we're doing things that are taking us away from them, let's say we want to be fit and healthy or strong and athletic. We want to be happy when we look in the mirror. We want to have confidence. These are things that we can do and we can take steps towards them. But if we have that mindset of 80-20, I can do whatever I want 20% of the time, it's not going to work out for you because 20% turns into 25, then 30%. Then it's Halloween and it's 35%. Then it's Christmas and it's 45%. And then where are we with these percentages? I don't even know where they come from. So stay away from that 80-20 mindset. It's not going to be the best way for you to reach your goals and live a healthy lifestyle, which we're all really working towards. And when I say weight loss, that's my goal. That's what I'm talking about here. I want you to teach I want to teach you guys how to live a healthy lifestyle. In most cases, we don't want to lose weight. We want to live a healthy lifestyle. And what I'm talking about is losing weight is a byproduct of living a healthy lifestyle. So if you continue to do take small steps and be more active and make better food choices, for example, the weight naturally comes off. So our, our real goal is to live a healthy lifestyle, to sleep better, to feel better, to have more confidence, to drop inches, have a better, our clo- nicer clothes that fit us better, for example. Those are our goals. We just think that mindset or we just have that mindset of, oh, I have to lose weight. That's going to make me happy. But it doesn't make us happy because we just continually want more weight to come off and that's not going to reach or help us reach our goals so if we do things that can take us more confident confidently in the direction of our dreams and goals and what we set out for for ourselves then we'll be more clear that weight loss isn't exactly what we're talking about but it is important to know that summertime is one of the main times that we start to gain weight because we're not doing our following our regular routines the fourth one i have for you is alcohol is not empty calories. <laughs> I'm not sure where this comes from. And I'm not sure where the majority of people, it seems like, think it's okay to have as much alcohol as you want because it's summertime and it's not going to affect our body image. It's not going to affect our mind. It's not going to affect our overall health. 
I think that we go back to the 80-20. We could go back to I'll lose the weight in the fall. You know, it's summertime, the sun's shining, we're feeling good, and the drinks are flowing. And then we're wondering why we're gaining all this weight. It's because it's Thursday night, the sun's out, and we're going to party on Friday anyway. So Thursday night, Friday, then of course Saturday. And who hasn't heard of Sunday fun day? Here at the beach in LA, my gosh, I think they party hard. They party harder on Sunday than they do on Friday night. It's kind of crazy. So we're depending where you are. People are drinking Thursday to Sunday, and then you mix in a Tuesday for a happy hour or a Wednesday. And where are you? You're drinking four or five times a night, and four or five times a week. And I'm not talking about having one glass, like one glass of wine. Sure, that's okay. And I'm not talking about like having a beer with the guys once in a while. I'm talking about having three or four in a day or two or three, three nights in a row. Like they're all going to add up and we don't pay attention to it. Like we're not sure exactly where that comes from. Like we don't know why we're, our brain is a bit foggy. We don't know why our pants are, aren't are fitting as well as they used to. Or a couple months ago when the be, summer be started, we're like, I don't know what happened. Well, the alcohol, that's what happened. I'm telling you. So we have to pay attention to what alcoholic beverages we're putting in our body. We have to understand that they, I'm, I'm saying that they're empty calories, meaning that there's no nutritional value or very little of it. But the other fact is, is that we don't know that it's going to add up in calories when we're eating a cheeseburger or a hot dog from the barbecue. And then we're having a bag of chips and then we have a couple of alcoholic beverages. It, it's all adding up and it's all giving us, it's all contributing to summer weight gain that we're not happy with i mean who wants to gain weight in the summertime unless you're a bodybuilder and you're in the bulking season <laughs> which very few of us are don't get me started on lifting weights in the gym unless you're a bodybuilder <laughs> we'll talk about that in another show so that's where we're at right now with our myths the number one myth is don't lose weight in the fall don't have that mindset it's not gonna happen number two one or two weekends is okay it's not okay you don't don't have that mindset don't fall off the wagon for one or two. It it's not going to happen. What I'm saying is you can go and enjoy yourself. You can go and have a few things that maybe you don't usually have. But if you consider yourself to be okay for one or two weekends, it's going to happen. It's going to you're going to fall into three or four weekends, four or five weekends. It's going to be every weekend in the summertime. And then you're not going to be happy with where you're at. And then we have the 80-20 rule. Same thing. 80-20 rule is not something that I encourage to have that mindset of do whatever you want 20% of the time. Try to do the best that you can 80% of the time. We usually flip that around, so we want to stay away from that. Alcohol is empty calories, and when I say empty calories, I don't mean that there's no calories. You're going to accumulate calories that your body is just going to hold on to. It's going to be so much more challenging come fall to burn that off. And now we understand from our first tip, you're not going to lose the weight in the fall. You know what happens is in September, everyone thinks that Christmas is our busiest time or New Year's is our busiest time. It's not as a fitness and nutrition company. September is the busiest time because everyone fell off the wagon. Everyone did whatever they wanted in the summer. And now the kids are back to school. People think that they're going to get back into regular routines, but it never happens. It doesn't happen. So everyone comes in September and they're like, oh, I'm super busy. I'm I'm bringing the kids to school. I'm back to work full time. I'm having a regular, we're, we're having a regular routines that we're trying to get into, but I'm so busy with everything going on. And now that the fall, everyone is running around crazy. You don't make the time to get into your routines. That's why I'm saying it. You don't lose the weight in the fall. Then comes October. In October, what happens in October? We have Halloween. So we run into Halloween with candies and everything else that goes on with Halloween and then take dressing the kids up and then it's we're all so busy and have so much going on. Then we have Thanksgiving, depending on if you're in US or Canada, it's at different times. I know we have listeners around the world as well, but <laughs> then we have Thanksgiving and then we have turkeys and treats and then what happens after Thanksgiving is we have Christmas. So, I mean, it's all lined up for us to fail if we don't take action today making making sustainable action action steps right away that can make a difference in your life the last one here for myths is i'll get back on track in the fall of course that's what i'm talking about here with all these things going on it doesn't really happen i know we like to think it does and maybe a few people do i'm talking about the majority here if you're gonna fall off or if you can do whatever you want in the summertime you're going to gain weight and then you're going to do whatever you want in the fall because you've developed those healthy, unhealthy habits or whatever habits they are throughout the summertime. 
the summertime is at least three months, depending on where you live in the world. So if we continue to develop those habits and do whatever we want, it's going to be very challenging to create healthier habits. That's why we're going over this today. Just want to take a minute to mention Complete Truth Protein again. This is a protein supplement that we designed at True Form. We believe in food. We believe food heals, cures, and prevents. That's why this product is much different than your conventional types of products. Unfortunately, packed with chemicals, preservatives, toxins that our body doesn't know how to utilize, digest, and absorb. So that's why Complete Truth Protein can help improve your digestion and will offer a natural boost of energy. You can find more details at trueformlife.com slash Complete Truth Protein. All right, so let's get into some facts. We just went over myths. I summarized that for you there briefly, so I don't want to go over them again, but you can always go back, of course, depending on how you listen. All past shows are going up on exploringmindandbody.com. You can check out all past shows there as well. So in case you're listening to this on the radio and you missed some of our segment, you can head over there. We also have a free app on any Apple device as well, so another option for you there. This is facts. This is what we got here for you. Facts. I got five of them. My favorite facts when it comes to summer weight gain. Let's get into it. The first one, most weight gain happens in the summer. I think I mentioned that earlier and it's just a fact of the matter. Most summertime weight gain, or sorry, most weight gain throughout your year happens in the summertime. And I'll tell you what. So when we go through Christmas, Christmas is like a month. I know most people think it's a week or two weeks but it's least it's at least a month four weeks five weeks sometimes we start celebrating christmas way early and then when we have new when we can count new year's for example i would still count that as christmas so christmas goes into new year's and we're partying throughout we're having christmas parties that's per that's a month that's five that's four to five weeks if we look at so most people think you gain all your weight at christmas time you do gain weight throughout the holidays and it's in, an interesting fact is you don't tend to lose weight after the holidays, which is the same thing here. Summertime weight gain, everyone thinks in the fall you're going to lose the weight. It doesn't happen. Same thing with holidays. Everyone thinks that you can eat whatever you want at the holidays, and then after the holidays are over, you're going to lose the weight. It doesn't happen. So that's what we're looking at here. That's four or five weeks of Christmas time, and then there's another, there's a bunch of other Halloween, Easter thanksgiving whatever it is we know that they're all over the place we know that they're happening throughout the year these are usually weeks or weekends so if you look at summertime where we're not in our regular routines where we're doing things we don't usually do throughout the year like spending time at the cabin or at the lake or at the beach this is usually three months maybe four months four months for us to do whatever we want slowly accumulate weight throughout the summertime and then come fall we think we're going to burn it off and we don't fact number two This is a good one as well. The types of people you're hanging out with. I am such a big fan of of environment. We have to pay attention to who we surround ourselves with. And I think it was Zig Ziglar that was the first that said, we are an accumulation of the five people we most hang out with. So figure out who you're surrounding yourself with. Are they negative people? Are they positive people? Are they healthy people? Are they fit? Are they negative? Did I say that already? Are they negative? Are they... Whatever it is in life, are they successful? Are they complaining about everything? Are, they, are you always meeting them at the water cooler? These people directly affect your life. They affect your mindset. They affect the thoughts that you think, the words that you speak, where you go when you hang out after work, where you where you, where are you at lunchtime, where are you at the weekend. These people affect everything from your lives. So if you're not hanging out with positive people, we're not doing something positive for our lives and for our overall outcome. So that's why types of people that you camp with, this is my second fact here, are the same people you hang out with throughout the year. So maybe not everyone, but in most cases, we have friends that we go camping with. We have friends that have kids the same age as us. We have coworkers or we have employees or whatever you have. It's usually the same types of people that you're hanging out with during the full year is the same as the summertime. So the summertime you're partying with coworkers or or family members or whoever that may be, you're hanging out with the same types of people. So maybe it's not the exact same people, but if there are a bunch of partiers that just wanna drink as much as possible on the weekends, usually when you go camping it's those types of people and then throughout the year maybe you're not camping but maybe you're going to hang out a bar at a bar or a pub or something and a lot of people want to drink which is fine like no judgment here i'm just saying that we have to decide 
if these people that we're hanging out with are, are taking us closer to our goals and the people that we want to be, or are they taking us further away? So environment is so important for me. That's always one of my top suggestions is who are you hanging out with? What people are influencing you positively or negatively? And are they taking you closer to your goals and dreams in life? If not, we really need to surround ourselves with different people. I know it's challenging. I know this is like, for example, family could be very negative. That's our family. We love them, but we have to find a way to separate ourselves, for example. Then we have a lot of friends. We could have friends from college or we could have lifelong friends that are dragging us down. We don't want to cut them out. We don't want to get rid of them. But I got to tell you, you have to start spending less time with them. Or instead of cutting them out, try to find more positive people to not so much replace them, but maybe to spend more time with so you're being more positively influenced in a better way. So be, be, pay attention to where your environment is, who, the, who you're hanging out with, and what types of people are influencing you every single day. The third fact we got is there's always a reason not to start. Again, one of my favorite tips here, we always have a reason, and I've been talking that throughout the show. We have a birthday, we have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, and everyone says, oh, I'll start later. I'll get into a better routine after my birthday or after Christmas, because why would I start now? I'm gonna go away for a week, right? These are, this is, again, this is a mindset. This is something that we've been thinking about, something that we've been planning, and if we continue on this path, we're never gonna get on track. I just wanna mention Complete Truth Protein here once again before I let you go. This is a protein supplement we designed ourselves made with quinoa and hemp seeds, also maca and stevia. We have two different types of products. They both have tons of health benefits. You can bake the original bag, you can bake with. It's perfect for gluten-free flour. If you're celiac or gluten intolerant, we have tons of recipes on trueformlife.com which include raw protein balls. People absolutely love these ones. We have pancakes, cookies, muffins, all healthy, all clean ingredients. Dorothy puts these together for us on a weekly basis. So if you head over to trueformlife.com, head over to the recipe section. We have all kinds of recipes on how you can use Complete Truth Protein. It's also a vegan and raw product. So if you have any intolerances or if you have any issues with digestion, this will definitely help you out. Once again, that's trueformlife dot com slash complete truth protein and that's what happens to a lot of people that's what happens to a lot of yo-yo dieters a lot of people that struggle with weight their entire lives they never get on track because there's always a reason why right now isn't a good time i'll, I'll start later i'll start next weekend and if you have that mindset or if you hear that from one of your friends that almost never happens i gotta tell you and if it does happen, it happens for a very short amount of time, and then a couple weeks or a couple months later, they're saying it again. Oh, I'll start back up in a couple weeks, or I'll start back up next month. So if it's the continual mindset of the failure and the struggle that we put ourselves through by not deciding this is what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start now and make it happen. There's always a holiday, there's always a reason not to start today. So push that to the side and make a reason today. Make a reason to start now. Put this on pause or come back to this, finish the show later, <laughs> and start now. Or unless you're meal prepping or working out while the show is going on. I'd love to hear that. I'd love to hear from you guys. We're at facebook.com slash trueformlife. If you want to send us a message, tell us you've been enjoying the show or let us know how we can improve the show. We're always interested in positive feedback as well. So love to know where you listen to the show most often. All right, so for the fourth fact, let me go over these here real quick. We did most weight gain happens in the summer. That's fact number one. Number two, the types of people you hang out with will be positively or negatively affect your life. And these people we hang out with during the summertime, it's not like we're going to be like, oh, I'm not going to hang out with them in the summertime. It's okay to do whatever they do during the summer and during the fall or during the winter. It's going to be a different set of people. No. It doesn't happen like that. We usually find the same types of people to hang out with if it's not the exact same type, if it's not exactly the same people to begin with. And the third one is there's always a reason not to start. So important to start today. It doesn't matter what it is. If you want to start keeping track of your finances, if you want to start keeping track of your credit card payments, if you want to start keeping track of or paying attention to finding new people in your life to be more positive, we have to start today. Make that decision and stick with it and find some ways to change your life for the better. And then the fourth one here, you're developing habits right now. A lot of us don't realize that. And it's so easy, unfortunately, it seems like it's so easy to develop unhealthy habits, 
very challenging to break them and a bit harder to create more healthy habits. That's what it feels like. I don't think it's like that. I feel like we think that because of the people we hang out with, because of the words that are spoken, the words that are the thoughts that are that we're thinking. Like this is all a giant circle. Sometimes it's a vicious circle that seems like it never ends. But we can break that circle. There are little things that we can do. That's why I'm talking about this today. We can find different people to hang out with. We can do different things instead of going on a week-long cruise where we know our friends are going to be drinking the whole time. We can do something a bit more positive or try to go on vacation with some other more positive people in our lives. All these little steps are going to make a big difference in your life. But I think we have to understand that we're developing habits right now. So if you're going every weekend, you're going to barbecue and drink for the summertime, understand that that's what you, it's going to feel normal to you when it comes fall. So fall comes in September like, oh, well, just because the kids are going back to school and job's a bit more serious, seems like everyone's a bit busier when the fall or September, October rolls around. We're developing those habits now throughout the summer. So when it comes September, October, November, we're still doing the exact same things that we were doing in the summertime. It might just be inside, for example, instead of sitting outside. So understand that today we can create a healthy habit. Today you can get up and stretch. That is one step to, to creating a healthier lifestyle and to feeling better throughout the day. Today you can do take five deep breaths as soon as you wake up. You can do that. I'm telling you, you can do that today to set yourself up for success. You can start creating a morning routine and get yourself ready for a great day. We can do that or we can get up late and we can stay up late the night before. We can forget to set our alarm or continue to hit our snooze button until we know we're going to be late. And that's creating another habit. So we have choices. We all choose. We all decide our outcome. We decide our destiny. So choose what's best for you. What kind of life do you want to live? and make those changes today. We got to do it now. And lastly, that's what I'm talking about here in this in in the one before you can take action today. Yes, you can. So, I hope you got something out of that. I do want to leave you with that. Once again, thank you so much for being here. We certainly wouldn't be here without you. Real quick here, our top 5 myths are you don't lose weight in the fall. Number 2, one or two weekends is not okay. Number three, the 80-20 rule needs to be pushed aside aggressively. <laughs> Number four, alcohol is empty calories that do accumulate to summer weight gain. Number five on our myth chart is I'll get back on track in the fall. I'm telling you, it doesn't happen. So believe that. Facts. We got our five top facts. Most weight gain happens in the summertime without question. Because it's four months of doing whatever you want and it's not even like Christmas where you have a month of doing whatever you want. So do your best to stay on track. Understand that most weight gain happens in the summer and beat that fact. Fact number two, the types of people that you camp with are the same types of people you hang out with throughout the year. So even if it's not the exact people, exact same people, they're the same type of people. So find more positive people that can take you closer to your goals. Number three, there's always a reason not to start. So important, there's always going to be a reason not to start if it's not a priority. If you don't put it at the top of the list, we're always going to run out of time. We're always going to find a reason to put something else in front of us. So understand that there's always a reason not to start. Number four here, you're developing healthy habits right now or unhealthy habits. So you're developing habits right now, every single time. You wake up in the morning every time you think about something, every time you go to the gym or don't. That's a habit or not, so understand that. And the last one, you can take action today without question. If you learned anything from this show, if you got anything out of this conversation, right here is that you can take action. There are success stories, and you can be one of them. And if you are listening to this show and you are on the right track, then keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep rocking it day after day. It's gonna see. You're going to see results. And I know most of the time we don't get the results that we want to see as quickly as we want to see them, but it's okay. We got to stay with it. We got to be consistent. On the last show, we talked about, on a past show, sorry, we talked about consistent persistence and being persistent and consistent with whatever it is you do. So I'm going to leave you with that. Once again, all past shows are going up on exploringmindandbody.com. Check out our past shows there. If you want some help with getting going in the right direction, meal plans, recipes, grocery shopping lists, at-home workouts, more details are at trueformlife.com. It's what we do. We can definitely help you out. And we also have a new magnesium product we couldn't be more excited about. Check out details at trueformlife.com. And I'm out of here. Once again, thank you so much for being here. That's it. That's all I got. In health and fitness for a better world. Thanks for listening.
You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.